and sit down. Hello folks, Colin here, Festa 67's workshop, and welcome to issue 23 of Build Your Own Ford Mustang Shelby GT500 from 1967. Now, this is by our wonderful folks over at Diagostini, so if you'd like to build along with me, click this link here. Link, head over to Diagostini's website and subscribe to this beautiful one-sixth scale. Yes, you heard me right. One-sixth scale Shelby GT500. You really won't be disappointed. In the magazine this week, we've got the 2007 Mustang Shelby GT500. Yes, look at that. Back to the muscle car shapes. In 2007, Carroll Shelby and Ford's special vehicle team, SVT, developed the Mustang GT500. Although 40 years have passed since the first Shelby Mustang, the same key ideas were to be found on this new model. Yes, folks. Back to how it should be. And this is Carroll Shelby, who was the consultant for the project. He saw the success of the Shelby GT500 on its big comeback to the market as a personal challenge. And look at it, absolutely stunning. And there's the great man himself. Ford personalised the 2007 Shelby with the famous Cobra logo in various places on the car. Yes. What a wonderful piece of engineering. This is what we're going to be doing today. We're doing the left exhaust pipe and muffler and also the right exhaust pipe and muffler. Okay, so this is what we're doing. Uh, they are handed. They are marked clearly, so you will see that. And it's just a press fit. Okay, and it says, keep in mind the adjectives right and left take as a reference the direction of travel of the vehicle. That is the orientation that the elements of the car have as if you were sat behind the steering wheel. Okay, so there you go, folks. That's what we're doing, simple push fit parts today. But I'll probably put mine in with a bit of glue, to be honest with you, just to make it more permanent. And that's how the two exhaust pipes look once they've been assembled. And this is where they're going to be going on your Shelby GT500. We've then got Ford's Grand Torino, a lot of muscle. The Ford Torino and Grand Torino versions were equipped with a 7-litre Cobra jet engine. They fully deserve the muscle car nickname. They were manufactured from 68 to 73. 7-litre engine. Wow, look at that, <laughs> absolutely. The versions equipped with the famous 7 litre Cobra jet engines were the most powerful in the Torino and later in the Grand Torino range. Unbelievable, the size of that. <laughs> Back in the day, eh? Yeah, it says the Torino coupes belong to a broad family of versions, including sedans, convertibles, and even family cars. Uh, the Torino was a car with a high volume of sales and was marketed with different engines, folks. It also became very popular in the uh, TV show Starsky and Hutch, the Grand Torino later variant. So, yes, 72 models were even larger and already been converted into luxury coupes. They no longer had the muscle car reputation of their predecessors, yes. And you can see the lines beginning to go towards that iconic uh, red Gran Torino, yes. So, yeah, loads of films. Clint Eastwood did a film, didn't he, Gran Torino, a few years back. So that's that issue of the magazine. So let's flip back and have a quick looky look at what we got. So we've got the exhaust just here. And they are handed, folks. So there's the right-hand exhaust. There's the left hand, and I think the mufflers are the same yet left. By powers of deduction, that will be right, okay? So, yeah. Being a scale modeler, I'll probably get rid of the seams and uh, do my own chrome on them. But for the moment, we'll put it together. So, simple press fit, folks. 
get that in there like so and it just presses home like that okay that simple so that's the left hand one done and then again we'll do the same with the right and they are semi-circular there with a couple of ridges and it'll just go up in there okay like that and then just push it together like that and then they will sit up underneath the back of the car there and look all suave windswept and interesting won't they the detail though is yeah so that's what you're going to end up with at the end of this episode a really easy one this one folks so yeah there you go so don't forget if you would like to build along with me click this link just there link head over to the diagostini website click the subscribe button and build along with me folks and also to help me out if you click the subscribe button just there and ring the bell that really helps my channel grow but also lets you know when all the new content comes up on the channel folks so until then thank you so much for watching i look forward to seeing you in the next issue and until then stay safe and well Bye-bye for now. Look at that.